Okay, hi guys. Um, I've seen on the forums a couple of times people asking for a apply offset torque function, um, and each time I've explained it's not possible. Uh, but here I'm uh, showing you the next best thing, um, which is using apply force to create an axis constraint, which will allow you to have it rotate around an offset axis. So first, that's the normal apply torque function, and we've got a hologram there showing the centre of the prop, um, the offset zero. Now, using my E2, if I just change the offset um, to 40 um, in the y-axis, this is local to the prop, um, you'll see the hologram move uh, like that. Uh, now it will rotate around that point. And uh, just to show that this isn't a cheat using axis tool, I'll move it to like that. Right, so you can see the uh, offset axis point is perfectly still, so the prop is rotating around it. Um, and you can set that point to any way you want um, in X, Y, Z local coordinates. So uh, I'm going to move it a long way away from the prop now. Right, now if we uh, see what that does. When we unfreeze it. So again, you can see the, um, the prop is rotating about that point um, with the uh, specified torque which I gave in the, the second vector. Uh, so the code um, that this uses basically just uh, removes the effects of inertia. Um, the way it works is all explained in the code, and I'll post it on the YMR forums, uh, which is linked in this video. Hopefully this will be uh, useful for a few control systems for uh, aeroplanes and ships and things. Okay, right. Cheers. I'll see you on the forums.